Hey guys, today I am gonna talk about the video, I'm Rudy, I'm Sad. Dear Rudy, I'm Sad by Alpha Investments. And yeah, people have every right to be sad. They're gonna be laid off soon en masse. I was reading on LinkedIn, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, the Goldman Sachs, the greediest company probably on earth. They're gonna lay off some people because apparently they're not doing as well as they would like to. Companies are laying off en masse. The, it would not surprise me if 2023 was a terrible year financially. Crypto is down and out. Many people believe crypto is a straight up scam now because of FTX. We have the stock market plummeting. We have the Fed. Even though our interest, our inflation is 7.1%, they are still gonna racket up the interest rate because they want it to be 2%. We still have a long way from 7.1% inflation to the ideal 2% inflation. There's no more PPP loan money being given out. There's no more stimulus checks being written. And this is the true reality. When you shut down the economy, you can only, and you print money to, but nobody's like doing a good or service, right? This is the after effects of printing too much money with very little goods and services added into it. Now, you know, people are sad. They invested in sports cards. They invested in NFTs, uh, Bored Ape. Bored Ape right now, they uh, are being, the influencers who promoted it, like Justin Bieber, they're being sued right now in court. Uh, FTX, people like Kevin O'Leary, people like Graham Stefan, people like who promoted it. Many of them like Tom Brady, Kevin O'Leary are being sued right now. People are very, very upset. I've never seen people this upset before. And honestly, they are just upset at anyone they can point their fingers to, and that includes in Alpha Investments. So they're sad because they lost money. Uh, you bought during the height at the time, you know, when times are good, you probably don't know it's the height. You probably think, oh, it's just gonna keep on climbing. Yeah, that was not true. Uh, the card prices, it doesn't matter if it's Marvel PMGs, they lost 95%, it doesn't matter if it's base Luca, that lost 80, 90%, even though he's doing very good. Doesn't matter if it's Trey Lance. I don't know how many of you guys remember. Trey Lance was the card of the Nationals. Everyone thought Trey Lance would be the next QB of the future. It turned out there's a rookie who is, his name is Purdy, and he's Mr. Irrelevant, and he's going to be the future. And he looks very good. He looks much better than Trey Lance ever looked, in my opinion. He's actually won a game. So, I mean, that's something Trey Lance doesn't do. So, we had a lot of really bad investments. We got a lot of people tell you about these bad investments and tell you, hey, this is a good opportunity, opportunity to meadow the zoo, flesh and blood, get your money in while you can. And people are sad because they don't have no more money. When you mess with somebody's money, you're messing with their livelihood, their finance, everything. You know, I, I'm going to sound very capitalistic, but I'm also a realist. Everything in our society revolves around money. What you make, what you, car you drive, what home you live in, it all costs money. Where you rent, I don't care if you're the poorest person or the richest person in America. Your life at some point, at, at some point where you're making payments or buying grocery bills, whatever you're doing, it needs money. A lot of money was lost in collectibles. Like just take Marvel for instance, 95% of the market cap was wiped out in a day. That's unheard of. And, and to a lot of these people pumping it, oh, it's just another day. And that, that, that will always stick in my mind that these people pumping it, they don't care because they got out. They were the ones who sold it at the height and they don't care who they sold it to because it's not their problem anymore. The Sasha T's, he's no longer, Sasha T during the big sports card boom was the guy, right? He was the guy who did the half a million dollar charge or a trade with uh, Card Kahuna of all people who uh, obviously sold Logan Paul a fake case of first edition Pokemon. We have so many pumpers and so many dumpers. CollectorCon is empty now. I think they have CollectorCon in Houston to end out. I might just go and I'll show you that there's nobody spinning wheels, rolling dice anymore. 
They ain't got no money. These kiddos have lost all their money. They have no money left. And time and time again, you're gonna see this. Like I can only emphasize this enough. A lot of people, they bought in high and now they realize they have nothing. That's sad, that's sad. Ain't a thing Rudy can do to help you. Um, I'm in that same boat too. Uh, luckily for me, I have a, a business that does pretty well. I mean, 2022 wasn't the best year, but it wasn't a terrible year, I'll put it that way. And uh, I have good employees, I have you know loyal staff, and we're going to see what we can do about 2023. But one thing I will not do is I will not invest in Magic Cards or MetaZoo or Flesh and Blood. I'm not going to view that as an investment. I'm going to view it as a collectible item that I enjoy. And if I view it that way, it will never make me sad. The only reason these people are so sad is they viewed it as an investment vehicle. That So when that goes down, when your only attachment to a card or a box or something like that is the value, the monetary value of it and how much you can sell for it and the profit you make, then yeah, you're very sad. But if your attachment, like for my Inuyasha cut on cut sheets is more like, wow, this is something that I didn't know existed. I love Inuyasha. I've always loved watching Inuyasha. This is something from my childhood. Then no matter how much I pay for those five uncut sheets, it's okay. Same with Fire Emblem. Um, same with even Pokemon cards. So I look at the collectible items that I've accumulated and some of them still make me very happy that I have them. And some of them like magic cards make me very sad because I view them more as a investment than I view them as a collectible, which is wrong. So I'm not the only one who is feeling this way. Buy what you like, buy what you like, it won't make you sad. The reason that you're sad is because you didn't buy what you liked and you bought what you thought would go up in price. Yeah, if it doesn't go up in price, well, that's very unfortunate because now you're sad. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Hopefully some people understand what I'm saying. I know it's a very difficult concept, but when you're a collector, and you buy something, like for me, like my uncut sheets of Inuyasha or my Fire Emblem Hero Cypher collection, I will never feel sad no matter what the value is, right? Because I, I have something that I enjoy and I enjoy looking at and I think it's a piece of artwork in my opinion. But if I bought unsealed boxes, something that I have never really done, unse or sealed boxes, right? Not unsealed, sealed boxes. Uh, something that's kind of out of my purview of what I normally do, which is a reserve list, then yeah, I am sad because I do regret buying those boxes. Uh, they were not cheap boxes to buy and there's no utility for me right now for them. And they just take up space. And I mean, it looks like a cool decoration, but that's all it is. It's a very, very expensive decoration. Anyway, bye guys.